let us look at some more questions so this is the next one you need a solution for distributed system the components needs to be set up so that one system component cannot negatively impact other that means if you have say these two people they should be set up such that this guy cannot control the life of this guy and vice versa we all have our own luck our own karmas so we should not get penalized for someone else's fault see this you can only do through loose coupling that means you don't tightly integrate like if two people are in the swimming pool and one drowns the other should not drown okay so that is loose coupling only this way you can design a good distributed system why we say loose coupling why the reason is your system should not come down you have website like amazon.com that system that website should not come down if it comes down for 30 minutes you lose millions of dollars in revenue because so many people are not able to order their commodities or whatever they wanted to purchase because your system was down so you ideally amazon.com cannot afford even one minute or even 10 seconds of downtime simple so that's why all such production and real time production kind of systems use loose coupling now what is request throttling request throttling is like you have a throat for example and we, we you try to eat a lot of stuff in one go so you are trying to throttle or for example you have your engine bike uh, it can go to say 150 kilometers above that it starts throttling and it may shake and so on so here throttling is not required you decouple them first once you decouple then we'll see what to do and then b says use stateful service stateful means you have a website where you put something in the bucket and then you log off so that whatever you put in the bucket is still there that is stateful just because you logged off it does not lose the current state but stateless is like gaming application you exit a game you lose your previous state and implement automatic backups so this one see backup does not even fit in the scheme of things the question is very different it is not about a disaster it is saying i just want two components to not affect each other uh, that's why loose coupling is our answer in this case we have to do loose coupling and these considerations you can pause and read it okay so the next question is saying you want to track your service costs yes. so the company wants to receive notifications when costs see when you when you have forecasted i will run my home in four thousand dollars per month and that exceeds so you should get an alert right you should get an alert when probably when you are exceeding three thousand five hundred dollars and you should get an alert because you are exceeding now your uh, you will have to use some more money this month you want that 
alert how or which service out of this will produce this alert so if you see billing conductor it will simplify your billing and reporting okay so this will not give you alert it will only give you aggregated view of your monthly cost and usage data what you have used and those things it will not compare of what you forecasted and now actually you are overshooting it will not compare it will not send alerts okay so this why that's why this is wrong now see savings plan is about a comp say example compute savings you want to do a pay as you go or if you reserve it so if you reserve it you will pay less so if you do such things you will save money 72% up to 72% okay but then you, you question is not telling that you want to save money see you may already have a savings plan what it is saying is are you spending more than you forecasted that is what you want so cost explorer so cost explorer will you can visualize you can see in terms of graph that what are you spending on and you can manage the cost over time but then the comparative studies with your forecast is not there then you have the service budget so here uh, this is exactly what we may need here because you want to do cost control and you want to track it so you have your cost usage data here and then you can compare with your forecast so you stay informed on forecasted spend and resource use whether both are telling or one is exceeding the other and what if it is exceeding yes it is exceed so what will you send me alert yes we will create custom actions to prevent over spending or to prevent inefficient resource use and etc we will do that so that is what budgets is meant for you will get alerted you see this here it is written you will receive alerts when you exceed your budget simple you create a budget first and when in real time you are spending that time it will give you an alert plus you are spending more than what you forecasted you better many your ways otherwise you will spend more that is not good so we now understood this uh, concept in a summary budgets is the only tool which will do that comparative stuff the other tools are good for understanding what are you spending a savings plan is not it is not a cost viewing service savings plan is a cost saving service you tie up a contract or for example reserve instance you say okay i'm willing to pay for 3 years and you will get up to 72% of discounts so this next question if you see here the moment i see uh they need a business intelligence solution using redshift okay so you have this redshift database on top of it do you want to put a bi so bi can be cogna stablu and what is redshift redshift is a data warehouse on aws so similar to snowflake in aws world the moment you see bi business intelligence think about only quick site don't think about other products like tableau or click and etc because those are third party products in the certification amazon wants you to uh, know their products their native products 
if amazon themselves have a bi tool why they will want you to use other bi tool if you are not from a business intelligence background you never know so these are the kind of dashboards which gets created with the drag and drop okay now i i know a lot of people like java developers or those guys uh, they take a lot of pride that hey you know we are coding tons and tons of lines of code here um, business intelligence can happen with drag drop you need to be very focused on understanding the data and the business okay so that is your quick site but uh, the cloud watch is a monitoring stuff it will monitor your compute storage like a apm tool application performance monitoring okay so this is something which you can monitor but it is not a business intelligence tool it can monitor your infrastructure now what is personal health dashboard so if you see this here so the dashboards you can uh, view your dashboard for health events like your account events so you can open like you can view the open recent and schedule changes into your account your organization events like in aws organization so that is your aws organization if you have multiple accounts suppose your client has finance department hr department like this various departments and each department they want to onboard to aws so use an organization to centrally manage uh, the accounts that is something which is strongly uh, recommended but then our uh, health dashboard has a different purpose it's not a business intelligence tool and then service catalog so service catalog usually useful for curated iac templates what is iac it is infrastructure as a code for example you write a piece of code to create uh, ec2 instances for example so this is how it works service catalog you can centrally manage your cloud resources to achieve governance at scale uh, you are in control right why we say governance because you want to be in control if you have so many ec2 instances getting spawned across various departments you will get confused and you will end up spending more and you will have no track of your costs so you don't want to be in that scenario so you use service catalog centrally it will tell you okay i have five code piece of code which spawns 100 ec2 instances you are in control and check you will know okay beyond 100 it cannot go but then it is not a reporting tool or a business intelligence tool like uh, quick sight is so quick sight is purely for business intelligence purpose so you can create reports like this keep looking this place right hand side here it is creating the reports and how it looks like this is useful for you this is bi for everyone just like in india growth should be for everyone it will not be specific to certain set of people similarly here bi should be for everyone everyone should be able to view use it so that is why the cost of business intelligence solution is very less on aws so if you have not yet subscribed uh, to so tons of videos to help you prepare for the certifications i will post some more content latest contents these are all that i am posting these are all latest stuff so you can bank on all of the content on this playlist this has been leveraged by a lot of people 
they have put their comments also that they have passed their certification using these contents so very useful playlist uh, please subscribe stay tuned and onboard your cloud journey